says we will use all the resources available to us to bring those criminals to justice and the third and you believe that criminals murderers are afraid of you they definitely are they're not afraid of the security forces i'm the man who they're afraid of I fear three persons are still on charge for breach of the law reform and three iron motor vehicles were seized <laughs> Between the hours of 5 a.m. to 8 a.m., operation was conducted in the Bad Police area. Three houses were searched. Three persons are arrested and charged for breach of the law reform, and three iron motor vehicles were seized. Further investigation continues. Now, Deputy Commissioner of Police in charge of crime, Fitz Bailey, says seven taxi operators have been murdered since the start of the year. He was dismissing claims that 76 operators of public passenger vehicles had been murdered since 2023. That number was released by the Jamaica Association of Transport Owners and Operators, JATU, Transport Operators Development Sustainable Services, TODS, and the All Voice Taxi Association. We have on record seven taxi operators that were killed. We are trying to clarify our records. There are some, for example, we have people exiting a taxi that was killed, someone moving towards a taxi that was killed. We have not established whether or not those persons are taxi operators. We are going to re-look at our records, but for up to the 21st of August, we had only seven Deputy Commissioner of Police Fitz Bailey, head of the crime portfolio in the JCF. President of JATU, Louis Barton, conceded that they did not consult with the police before releasing the numbers. Notwithstanding the 69 fewer taxi drivers who've been slain, the operators are still calling on the government to address the murder problem, among other issues in the sector. Mr. Barton says he knows of operators who are traveling with weapons in order to feel protected. We have complained to the police over a number of years and telling about the criminal activity, not only murders, but the extortion, the passengers not paying fear, all of the criminal activity that have to do with transportation. We have complained to them. The tip of the iceberg is the murder. But there are other criminal activities that is not being addressed by the security forces. And we have no alternative. Right now, some of our drivers drive with a gun. Louis Barton, president of JATU, they were both speaking on Nationwide at 5 on Thursday. Meanwhile, president of the All Voice a Taxi Association, Lorraine Finnegan, is lamenting what he calls the lack of response from the police when a member of the transport sector is brutally killed. Every other sector that loses their members, the police not only report it, but the police comes out and let public know that no stone will be left unturned until those criminals are brought to justice. We have never heard that said for any of our operators that has been brutally slain. And if a member of the society died from what we consider to be a prominent person, then you will hear the police read the next script that says, we will use all the resources available to us to bring those criminals to justice. And the third script is the chaplain unit of the police force will be providing grief counseling to the colleagues of the slain individual and also to the family. We have never heard any of those three read when any of our operators died. Lauren Finnegan, president of the All Voice Taxi Association, he was also speaking on Nationwide at 5 on Thursday. There's nothing the government can do. No matter the policies they try to implement or what they, the government tries to do, they don't, the government doesn't have the answer. The answer is with God. And I keep telling the people, but no one's willing to listen. So I've studied it for almost 30 years and I understand exactly what to do. Any volatile community across Jamaica takes less than one minute to quell. I studied the spirit and the fire. Just as in the days of Moses, the spirit and the fire, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, the spirit and the fire. Um, Hebrews 12, 29 says, for our, oh, 
for our God is a consuming fire. So, fire applies to God. God works with fire up until now, and I've proven that, and that is the answer to the problem in Jamaica. The fire conveys a spirit, it only takes, for any volatile community, it only takes, it takes less than one minute. I want the people of Spanish Town to get involved. Every law-abiding person, I want them to get involved. I need wood, I need a whole dog, seven feet wide, three and a half feet deep, because I'm going to burn the spiritual fire in Spanish Town, burn out all gunmen. One minute, that's all it takes. And he can give me some gospel music at the same time because I, I, I love to worship and, and burn out the evil along with my gospel, gospel music. God gave me this work. It's not something I, I chose of myself, you know, so say what you want. Mr. Roberts, you know that mm -hmm. there are persons who will question whether or not, you know, you are in the right mental space. What is your answer to that? My answer to that? If that's what you believe, put me to the test. Put your money where your mouth is. I'm ready any time, night or day. Any time at all, call me, I'm ready. And I'll take on any amount of you as well. Have you previously um, attempted to quell um, any violence using this method? Well, i tell you something. I spoke to this lady yesterday and I said to her, all right, you see, 2010, when the, the incursion of Tivoli Gardens, when the crime went down, I made my breakthrough, right, the incursion was on the 10th. I made my breakthrough on the, on, on, on the 8th, right? And everybody was, was saying it was the police, but it was not the police, it was God. And I've been in, intervening in Kingston and St. Andrew up until now. Otherwise, Kingston and St. Andrew would be worse than Montego, what Montego Bay is today. The cross is an implement in the first place, before the time of Christ, this was a symbol of um, punishment. I build a cross and I'll write Satan and the devil on it. Re re reason being, I am crucifying Satan up and the devil. Christ has, has come off of the cross. It's Satan's time now. Right? So, so what I realize, evil people, when they see this, <laughs> they start to panic. If I'm riding, riding on the road, you see, if I'm riding on the road and, 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 and cars are getting too close, you see that I go like this and expose it. The car them start to go right round me. So there's power in the cross. And you believe that criminals, murderers are afraid of you? They definitely are. They're not afraid of the security forces. I'm the man who they're afraid of. I fear afraid of. Straight away them say me a Obia man, but I'm not a Obia man. If you want to say I'm a Obia man, I'm a God Obia man. Right? Works within God Himself. And that is the answer to the force. God. Divine, divine presence is the answer, is the answer to it, the forces of evil, right? Because um, if you read the scriptures again, it says that Satan was cast down to earth. So in order to de defeat that force of evil, because that's what's happening globally, right? Anywhere where there is war, Iraq, America is a terrible situation right now, right? So anywhere where there is violence, the Bible spoke of it. Rampant violence, the Bible spoke of it, um, um, that in the last days Satan, Satan will be um, seeking who, he, he will, who we may devour. Just, just clarify to the people what exactly you need. I haven't got permission as yet from the, you know, the people who control that park. Sorry, the bus park in Spanish zone. I haven't, I haven't got permission as yet, but I'm going to try and see if I can call them today, right? But um, I need to get the wood to the bus park, as much wood as possible. Yeah, and then I, I need assistance. I need help to dig that hole seven feet by three and a half feet. And what if the people don't rally with you? Well, I'll have to do the work just the same. I'd have, to, I'd have to find the I'd have to find the means and the ways to do it. But I want to tell the gunmen as well. Fourteen parishes. You better put down that gun. No, it is the time. 
put down that gun now. Because I tell you something, I'm, I'm, I'm coming out there for you, you know. I am coming out there for you. I am coming out there for you and you don't, you have no answer to, to what I am. You have no answer to the presence of God because that's what I'm coming, coming at you with. I'm coming at you with the presence of God. And if you want Father, Son and Holy Spirit, I have it for you. So I want peace in Jamaica. And, and I'm calling out to Jamaica, 14 parishes, wherever the problem is, call me. Just call me out, night or day, I'm ready at any time. I'm here at the Magotti police station. The police from the Magotti station at about 12.30 a.m. on Thursday morning, acting on intelligence, intercepted a white Mazda motor car. A search was done of the vehicle and the occupants, and it was revealed that a cow was found in the trunk. The driver of the vehicle was taken into custody pending further investigation. Prada Larson has been a challenge in this parish. We have been doing a number of things with our farmers, including establishing a farmer's watch. I want to appeal to anyone who has lost a cattle or a cow in any recent time to visit the Magotti Police Station or the Black River Police Station and to bring proper identification to be able to identify this cow. The farmers of this parish are very important to us as a stakeholder. We are aware of the issue of Prairie Lasney to our farmers, both in terms of their cattle and their crop. And so this is an issue that we are taking very seriously in this division. We're establishing a team of officers that will pay special attention to pray their last name. And I want to assure the farmers in St. Elizabeth that we'll be meeting with them. We will be acting upon all the information that we have and we'll ensuring that we do all that we can to ensure that we bring pray their last name under control in this division.